In this video, I'm gonna be making some homemade vegetable soup. Now, I have made homemade vegetable soup, and you could call it vegetable beef soup because I'm going to use beef, uh, but you don't have to. You could leave that out totally and have it completely vegetarian. I just like the meat in it, and so does my family. Um, but the reason I am making this video today is because so many people ask me when I say we've had vegetable soup for dinner, they ask me how I make it. I have a video up of this recipe. It's so simple. It's just, you're gonna be like, why is she making a video of it? But the video is so old and it was when I first started YouTube. And so I hate to refer people to that old video where the camera wasn't as good, the lighting wasn't as good. So I want to make an updated version of it. It really, um, it doesn't take many ingredients and you're just gonna see how easy it is. Um, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you uh, the ingredients. Okay, now for me, the main ingredient in my vegetable soup is the roast. And I buy the tip roast. Um, I just, I like it the best uh, for vegetable soup. And you can see it is frozen. That does not matter at all. I take it straight out of the freezer and I will put it in my crock pot. I have that heating right now on high. I always uh, keep it on high. Um, I, this is a probably half of a onion. I'm gonna use one potato. It doesn't need to be this big, but that's what, what I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm going to use probably two handfuls of this penne pasta. If you have macaroni noodles, elbow macaroni, you can use that as well. I'm going to use crushed tomatoes, a can of green beans, a can, this is a small can of peas and carrots, a can of corn, and then what I call my secret ingredient is tomato paste because we have discovered that if you do not have the tomato paste in there, you do not have the flavor. That's, that's where all your great flavors come from. So right now I'm going to open this. I'm gonna open this roast. And I might have to run some water over the bottom of it if, the, if there's paper. I don't know if there's if the paper wants to stick then I'll run some water over it no it's fine there we go so you can see it's frozen solid if that paper had stuck I would just run some um, run some warm water under it and it's fine believe me so now I'm gonna take it put it straight in the crock pot like that I'm gonna put the lid on it and it will take probably three and a half hours. You don't add any water to it, nothing at all. It will make its own juice. I don't add salt, pepper, nothing to it at this time. So just cover it up and then we'll check back later. Okay, for this next part, you absolutely do not have to do this. This is just me and just the way that I am. I like to know that everything is cooked when I get it together in the pan, in one big pan. So I go ahead and I uh, boil my potato and my pasta and uh, that assures me that those things are fully cooked before I put them in the, the um, to make the vegetable soup. So you can see I've just, uh, I've washed my potato and I've just cut these, uh, cut it into great big hunks. And I will put this on to boil and once it starts boiling, it will only take uh, 10 minutes. Um, and then it should be cooked and then I'll take it off and I'll do the same thing with my pasta. Um, I don't know how long that pasta will take, but I will make sure that my pasta is fully cooked and then I'll be back. Okay, my water is boiling for my pasta, and uh, there's already some pasta gone from this box, and I am not gonna put much at all in there. Uh, that is about it. It's really just to uh, fill out the, uh, the soup, and there are my potatoes, and I have already opened uh, my cans, and I drained the juice 
from the corn and the green beans and the peas and carrots. You don't have to. Uh, years ago, when Kevin and I first got married, I never drained the juice, but then Kevin mentioned it to me a couple times, so I thought, well, I'll drain the juice. It doesn't matter to me. The only thing that's not going to be cooked beforehand when we get it all together are the onions, and it doesn't take onions no time to soften up. So I'm just gonna wait for those noodles to cook, and we'll be back. Okay, I have my potato and macaroni in here. I took them off and drained them, drained the water out. And so now I'm just gonna add uh, my cans of uh, vegetables. My roast and like I told you I don't add any oh, <laughs> I, I should have known that was gonna happen <laughs> get foggy um, I do not add any water or anything to it like I said I haven't put anything in here and you can see all the juice uh, that is in there so um, I'm gonna turn it off and just stab it with my fork and you want to keep all those you see the little drippings all the little pieces that have come off you want to keep all that because all that is going to be used in your soup i'm going to actually pick this uh, take this out of here and uh, pour this um, in the big pot of soup now from here i am going to turn uh, my burner on and I'm gonna let this um, this mixture start to heat up while I am cutting my roast into chunks and remember the only thing that has not cooked in here is, um, are the onions I have no knife skills at all I'm just gonna tell you that right now but I just pick a piece that I want to slice. Normally, if Ashley was home, she would be in here like a little dog wanting a piece of this because it always smells really good. See how good that looks? That looks really nice. Now, normally, if I was cooking roast for the family, I would have kept that juice and I would have... Um, used it to put in potatoes or or to put over this meat um but i probably would have bought a different kind of roast too i don't use the uh tip roast when i'm making it for the family so anyway these are about the sizes that i like it like this and when i get it all in a big pile here i'll come back okay that roast made this much meat and you can see they're quite large hunks. Uh, if you have a, a little one, of course, you'll have to cut them much, much smaller. Or like I said earlier in the video, uh, you could make this completely vegetarian. You could have all kinds of beans in this. My mom used to put uh, cabbage in hers. Uh, you could have pinto beans. You, there's just a lot, of different, uh, a lot of different things you can put in this. Uh, there's no... There's no right or wrong way in my opinion. So, now as you can see, there, there is not enough juice. So, I will add, have some water here. This is like a cup and a half. I don't ever measure it out. I just put it in a measuring cup to pour it. And it will need more. But as it simmers, as it... Um, warms up uh, you will uh the, depends on how long it sits here but you will need to add more and more water um and our dinner time is an hour and a half away so that to me is a good amount of time for this to sit on the stove and simmer i'm gonna add some more water Because it is a soup, it's not a stew. You know, if it were a stew, then it would be really thick. A soup is supposed to be thinner. That's just 
that's how well, how I've always thought about it. And you have to add the salt and pepper. Uh, because I have added absolutely no seasonings to anything. And uh, you all will probably die at the sodium, but I'm just showing you how I make it. And so there you go. That is, uh, that's our soup. Um, I will actually do something different on this video that I did not the first time, which is showing us taking a bite. So you will see us, um, it'll be a couple of hours from now, but um, we'll have to try a bite of this for you and, and uh, tell you how good it is. Okay, we have our soup, and like I said, we know that this is good. We've been eating it this way for years and years and years. Uh, but if you all have different variations, different recipes, I would be interested in, in knowing uh, maybe some of the things that you put in there that I didn't mention. Is it really hot? I don't know. I got a piece of roast that was sitting on top. <laughs> I just got a piece of roast. It was really good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I got a piece of roast too. We all like meat and potatoes, that's for sure. Yeah, Tammy makes sure she puts tons of meat in this because I, I enjoy it. Actually, like that's our favorite part of it is the, the roast in there. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorites too. Um, I will usually put like Ritz crackers, like three or four Ritz, five Ritz crackers in here and have them on just to get a little extra crunch. Mm -hmm. um, but not always. Sometimes I'll put hot sauce in it. I mean, it just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. We like to eat it with peanut butter sandwich or something like that on the side. Sometimes we, we just eat the soup and that's enough. Um, Is this the one you used to put a can of mixed vegetables in a long time ago? Yes, but I don't use, I think it's called veg all. Mm -hmm. I don't use that anymore. Instead, I use what I use today. It um, tastes different. It tastes different. It has a different flavor to it, and I don't care for the flavor of it, even though I drain that juice out. It's just maybe with those vegetables that are in there, it just gives it a different flavor that I do not care for. Did so, you put the tomato paste in this? Yes. See, I think it tastes better with the tomato paste, because one time you made it without, and I was like, this is not the same. Right, that's what I there. said in, um, um, earlier is that we have discovered that the tomato paste is like the Tons ingredient you yeah. have to have tomato paste or it does not taste yeah. the same if you've never done it with tomato paste try it once i think you'll really like it mm -hmm. <coughs> so hopefully you Excellent. enjoyed uh, getting to see me um, make it for you i've made it during vlogs and like i said it was one of the first videos that i ever made for youtube so hopefully this updated version will be a lot better and now I won't re mind referring people to, to go watch this, you know, because the other one, the lighting was just bad and everything. So um, I hope you enjoyed it um, and please give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed and thanks for watching.